What is going on guys? Popsy back with a video for you guys and today I have one of the 2019 Yu-Gi-Oh! Megatons. Very excited for this. Leave a like if you enjoy of course. I only got one because I ordered a case online. I ordered it from, I think it was tier 0. And the way they're doing it is when they send you the Megatons, they're sending, I, I got a case of it, and they're going to send just the packs, not the actual tin. And I kind of wanted one of the tins and I figured, you know what, why not just get one of them? I can't wait for my case to come here. I don't know when it's going to get here because there's like no shipping estimate on their website and i think they're based in the uk so hopefully i get it before next weekend at least anyway i got one now what do we got here neo kaiser glider i think that was like the worst one there's nothing under here too right it's just filler yeah just filler i've heard that these tins are like nice to hold cards though i don't know about that because like it's still like a metal <laughs> it's still tin you know what i mean like and it looks like the cards also rattle a lot i'll just stick to using the elite trainer boxes from pokemon that's what i use or just a regular you know standard box so let's open this up Let's get the promo pack out first. There we go. So we wrapped it all together. That's interesting. My mat is a little creased. Okay, so we have the promo pack. Um, I'm kind of hoping for Dark Ruler No More as my like good promo because I want to build Sky Striker and I feel like now with Megatons coming out, Sky Striker is super cheap and still pretty good. And I think I would play like three Dark Ruler No More, maybe even main it. And I wouldn't main Nibiru. I don't know. Nibiru is still good. Either way, they're all really good traps or hand traps or whatever. Or cards in general. Neo Kaiser Glider, whatever. This card I really like. I love the artwork on this. Palladium Oracle of Mana. Okay, one giant of raw. Very cool art. Slifer and Dimension Shifter. Not bad. Apparently the worst and cheapest of the three. But uh, it's still cool to have a really cool card. Love the Prismatic Seeker. I'm sure you guys have seen it to oblivion. But um it just looks so nice. It reminds me a lot. I should have got one out for this video. If you guys have any of the old video game promos from like the from like the early two thousands. That's what they look like, because those cards are technically secret rare, but they look more like the Prismatic, and I think it's one of the best looking secret rare. So we have three packs. I'm also hoping for Boral Sword, because I do not have one. Any Sky Striker card. Um, and some of the dangers. I want Tsuchinoko. I'm actually working on a danger or a Mermail deck that could play dangers, and Tsuchinoko is one of the dangers that uh, that works best in that, if I if I can figure out a build. So we got random commons. I'm not going to talk about the commons, unless they're like good commons, or commons that I care about, rather. Uh, nothing really too crazy. Incantation Bookstone. This is actually a really good one. Really good super to have. Happy about that. Cyber Dragon Seeger. Oh, that looks amazing. I mean, my webcam is not really that great. It's just 720p, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, this card is beautiful. Wow. Yeah, Cyber Dragon's really, really cool deck. Uh, Nightmare Cerberus. I didn't realize this one came in Ultra. I thought it was just a Phoenix that did. That's really cool that Cerberus is here as well. I mean, honestly, like, the way I look at it is I'd personally rather just play the Super and trade this because it's going to be worth a bit more. Uh, and then we got one of the random for higher rares. Uh, and then any good... Like, I want Dark Savior stuff for the commons. Like, give me, give me like, multi-roll. Give me, give me stuff like that. Give me Afterburners. <laughs> Not a bad first pack, though. I like those cards. They're all cards that I like. All right, so what do we got here? We got some Cybers card. Don't care. Multi-roll! Yay! I'll <laughs> put that to the side. What is this? Ocinato. I remember when this came out, actually. This was an import in, um, I want to say Flood, or maybe it was in Cybernetic Horizon. I don't know. Vampire. Shout out to Duel Links. Link something. Trickstar something. Okay. Crossbreed. This card, I've never heard of this card. Why is this in here? Dude, we got, like, the worst, this is, like, the worst pack here. We got the filler seeker that nobody cares about. Oh, Griffin's pretty good, though. I already have one. That's pretty cool. Cybers Magician. I like this card. You know, cool to have. Just a card that I like. Uh, cover card for Seven Day Horizon. Never, never ended up getting one. I only know it's like a five cent card, even the Ultra. But it's cool to have one. I have a mat with it, so you know it matches. All right, let's get something good here. The first pack was pretty good. Second pack, second pack was a dud. There's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So actually, I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take the top six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I believe these are the non hollows. Yeah, these are the non hollows. Then it should be one, two, three. Four. Okay, so these should be like the hollows in the rare. Let's let's look at the commons first. Anything that I care about? There's a Salamander Great Ritual? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I had no idea. So any Dark Savior card? Oh, that's kind of cool. Waking the Dragon. Good card. Vendred. Sky Striker Eagle Booster. I don't. I needed that. I don't have one. Yeah, I'm literally going to play Sky Strikers with like all the commons. And it's going to be glorious. Alright, so let's do it. Let's do it from the back. Actually, let's do the front first because this should be like the super. Oh, Cyber Dragon Hurts. That's pretty cool. And then the Prismatic Secret should be at the bottom now, so I'll go from the top. So we got Noble Knight. Nobody cares. Uh, Vampire Frella. Don't really care. And then what's the secret? Oh, Sekka's Light. Wow. Okay, this one looks really nice. 
I still play the rares. Like, like I play Mermails. Uh, I haven't played them in a while, but when I play the second Light Bolt, I, I just never bothered to get the supers. But, um, wow. This card looks great. So to recap, uh, I would say it's like a pretty average Megaton, right? I mean, where's my other secret? Oh, it's right now. Where's my other secret? What was my other secret? What the heck? It was Seeger. Oh, here it is. Honestly, like, not, not the worst. Could have been worse. I mean, obviously getting this thing really sucks. <laughs> and getting crossbreed and whatever when you could have got, like, an incantation or a Cyber Dragon hers. I'm not upset with this, though. Um, I like this. You know, I got some Sky Striker cards that I wanted, <laughs> which is... Dude, I can't believe that these are freaking common. <laughs> like, <laughs> I want to play people with the lowest rarity Sky Striker deck. And if I beat them, they're going to feel terrible because <laughs> I have common Sky Striker cards. It's going to be amazing. Anyway, I like this set. It's a good set. This card shouldn't have been in here. What are you doing, Konami? Either way, very good product. I might do a case opening when my case gets here. It really depends on when it gets here and if I can record it. Because if it doesn't come here for like over a week, then it's going to be too late by that point. Either way, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoy. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite reprint from the Megaton is. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.